Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be hooking up the Blue Eddy EP500 to my inlet box. As you can see right there, that green light, that means that we have power going into the inlet box already. So basically have two EP500s. They are connected together with this cable right here. It connects to that one. That's your communication cable. So they're pretty much combined together. So this one can see what that one's doing. So you can get 240 volts. All right. The power is coming out of this plug right here. It's a 30 amp plug. And you have another one right here, 30 amp plug. They go into the hub. Give you 240 volts right here. You have two 30 amp plug RV plugs and 420 volt. 20 amp plugs so you can hook this up to the inlet box and get 240 volt what we're going to do today we're going to see this thing because each one combined that one's 3000 watts that's 3000 watts so together they're putting out 6000 watts okay i'm going to see if i can power my five ton ac with this in this situation power outage situation if you hooked up to these, you know, the five ton AC is not something I would recommend. Maybe a window unit, but you know, we have to push it here. I have to show you guys what it can do. This is an extreme testing. This is not something I would recommend you running off your uh, portable power stations, five ton AC. I just want to show you guys if it can be done and how to do it. I do have it connected to solar. You can see right here, we have, uh, I think it's right at 1,960 watts. Each panel is 320 watts on my solar tracker. So it's 960 watts going to the Blue Eddy. 7,000 watts coming from the generator. And these two combined, you have 6,000 watts. Can you run a 5-ton AC? I'm pretty sure everything in the house will be ran on this. The refrigerator, lights, ceiling fans, ovens, whatever you have, it's going to power it. I'm going to try the 5-ton AC and the washer and dryer. So let's see if you can do some laundry on this. I saw they showed that. Let's, let's confirm that. Let's see if we can do uh, the washer and then the dryer. I'm not going to do them together. I'll separate it for this load. So guys, the main difference between a transfer switch and the inlet box, your transfer switch, you're limited to 10 circuits. If you have a 10 circuit transfer switch, you're limited to 10. This one would run on one. That one would run on the other leg. So you have split leg. All these are 120 volt. You can connect and tie them together to get 240. But all my loads I pick, essential loads, are 120 volts. Just the ones that I'll need. Mass bedroom, heater, stuff like that. Microwave. On the inlet box, you're not limited. You're going to power every circuit in your house. It doesn't matter what size your power, where your power is coming from, you're going to power every circuit. So you can open your gate, you can power your well pumps, you can open your garage doors. Let's just say you come home, you know it's going to storm, and you know it's going to lose power. You come home, now your garage doors weren't open. If you would have just hooked one of these up to your inlet box, and just you know it's going to lose power come back home your garage doors would work outside lights would work everything in the house is going to work as is as it works on the grid okay you're just limited to the power because now you're on uh battery power if you have a generator you can't just leave a generator running all day something like this you just hook up your solar panel keep that in the garage or wherever your uh main panel is you come home Everything's going to work as is, especially those garage doors. You know, you get home and you have no power. You can't open your garage door. That's annoying. Okay, guys, let's get the test started. Let's do the washer and dryer first. So I'm going to go in there, turn on the washer, then I'll turn on the dryer, and then we'll do the five-ton AC. Real quick test. All right, let's turn off the main. I already have my AC and everything shut off in the house. So I'm just going to shut off the main. It's up. And flip that on. 
as you can see right here this one's putting out 330 watts and over here it's putting out two two eight two four all right let's get in there let's fire the washer and dryer and see what we pull okay so we're in the laundry room right now let's turn the washer on and start it let's go see what the washer is pulling and which leg it's coming off all right so we just turned on the washer and we just turned on the washer and the reason i say which leg is going to be pulling from is because the washer is 120 volts so it's going to be coming from one of these okay so this one's pulling right at 330 and this one's pulling 246. see the solar panel came on on this one so i know that this one's carrying the washer As you can see, the washer doesn't pull a lot of power. Let's turn on the dryer. That power hungry beast pulls a lot of power. It's 240 volts, so it's going to be pulling from both of these at the same time. Let's get in there and turn it on. I'm going to turn off the washer. I'm not going to run them both together because we're not on generator power. We're on battery power and solar. So you've got to be mindful of your loads. As you can see, the washer is still running. Let's just shut that off. Okay, power hungry dryer. Turn it on. And get that dryer going. Let's go check it out, see what it's pulling. Okay, guys. 3059, we have an alarm. And over here, we're pulling 2755. Right at 3000. As you can see, that alarm came on. Let's see what that alarm says. Inverter overload warning. Let's clear that alarm. And over here. Okay, so the heating element just went off. It should cycle back on. Once it cycles back on, so that means the dryer just reached temp. It's an electric dryer. So once it cycles back on, you should get another heavy load. And you can see right here, the PV came on on this one too. So it's pulling 382. And this one's putting out 190. The reason they're different is because I have two panels on this one and one panel on this one. All right, let's, get, let's keep going with the test. Let's turn on the 5-ton AC and see what happens. Remember, guys, this is not something I would do long term. This is just a test to show you that if it can do it. So let's get in there and turn on the five ton AC. Okay guys, we're pulling over 3000 on this one and well over 3000 on this one. Should be alarming in a minute. Still surged. Okay, this one dropped to 29, 25, back to 29, down to 21. This leg is still pulling over 3,000. So it did start the AC. No fans. Really nothing running right now. Okay, guys. The Blue Eddy EP500 did start the 5-ton AC. Okay, I come right here. I can see... Uh, It's running normal. So the peak was 46.3. You guys always ask me. It's right here. 46.3 was the peak. Well, it didn't get an alarm this time. It's pulling over 3,000 watts. So um, this one's going down to 2009, 2,090. And this one's pulling... Right at 3,050. Fans just came on. You see that percentage dropping, boy. <laughs> it was 98 when we started. It's only been five minutes. 94. This one's 97.
Yeah, I wouldn't recommend the five ton AC window unit. Go for it. Five ton AC, that's a bit much to run. Okay, guys, Blue Eddy EP500 running a five ton AC washer and dryer. You can see it right here 240 volts. All right. Not something I recommend because that you'll probably do this for right about an hour. You could cool down the whole house if you want to, but running it off that, I really would not strongly would not recommend you uh, running it at wide open like that. All your power would be gone. Even if you had all the solar, you're running your inverter at max load. Hey guys, just wanted to show you showing you the extreme right now um full load for the blue eddy ep500 running a five ton ac guys if you like videos like this go ahead and give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button subscribe to the channel it, it helps us do more videos like this get sponsors and keep the channel going so hit that subscribe button subscribe to the channel if you watch the videos guys thanks for watching my channel have a nice day bye